Hi everyone, welcome to day 24 of our 30 day April art challenge. You know what day it is today? Guess whose birthday it is? This guy. Yeah, he is seven. Lucky, lucky seven. We're gonna have a party after. Anyway, back to the prompt. Here's another hint for today's prompt. Look at my sweater, which I didn't iron. So I'm not going out. Yep, bloom. Today's prompt is bloom. Like flowers that bloom in the spring, which is happening right now. I see lots of flowers on my daily walks. So think of how you wanna show bloom in your artwork. Do you wanna draw, paint, collage, sculpt? Um, at the end of the video, I am going to include some photos of all different examples of um, artwork showcasing flowers, blooms. There's also going to be a little tutorial on making, um, if you wanna sculpt some flowers, like using rolled paper. Um, it's a great way to recycle, because it was Earth Day this week, and you can use um, newspaper or magazine pages. Aren't those beautiful? They're just rolled, uh, the dog hair. Uh, it's just rolled paper and um, on some wire. I stuck it in this little vase. You could stick it in, you know, a toilet roll. Oops, sorry, Bosley. You could stick it in one of these. He loves these. This is gonna be his, one of his birthday presents. Just kidding. I got him something. It's right here. This is why he's like all over the camera today. Little, this is what I got him for his birthday. And I got him some treats too. Wait, you gotta wait. So that is the prompt for today, day 24, April 24, Bosley birthday. Um, if you make something and you want to share it, put it in Google Classroom, or you can email it to me, and I will see you for day 25 tomorrow. Enjoy the day. Happy birthday, Bosley. To start making your flower, you're going to trace a circle. This is a, probably about six inches. Uh, the bigger the circle, the bigger the final um, flower will be. And then you're going to make a spiral. So draw a spiral, goes all the way to the center, and that becomes the base. Once you get the hang of it, you'll probably be able to cut your spiral without having to draw it. And you can even layer the paper. Remember, use whatever you have at your home. Newspaper would be great, magazine pages, anything. Um, and then you're going to start rolling the flower, starting with the outer edge, and keep it in a tight roll. It will loosen up. I forgot to mention earlier that this project works best if you have a glue gun. So ask a grown-up to help if you need some assistance. Um, be very careful with it. If you don't have a glue gun, use um, some liquid glue um, or even some tape, but obviously with liquid glue, you'll have to let it dry. All right, so I rolled up my flower and I kind of put it on the table and it opened up gently. And this is the glue gun part. You're gonna put glue on the base of your flower, just like that, and then press it down so it stays. Um, I used, the, I just had some wire at my house, so I cut some wire for the stem you can use a straw, you can use a pipe cleaner, you can use florist wire, look around and see what you have. Um, and then I was trying to figure out how to attach it. So I poked a hole and I kind of like shoved it in there and um, I think I taped it. I might've taped it, glued it. Try different ways to attach your flower the best that you can. Um, and that's the one that I did with scrap of paper. I'm showing you again where to put the glue um, and my, more wire for the stem. So that is it. And remember, I'm just giving you suggestions. You could use these 3D flowers and make a face or turn the 3D flowers into hair like in um, the reference photos earlier. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you tomorrow.